this car looks like it came straight out of a Marvel lab, not from 1920s America. But the Martin Aerodynamic from 1928 is very real. Designed by aircraft engineers and built almost a century ago, it's still one of the most mind-blowing automotive creations ever made. This isn't just a rare vehicle, it's an aerodynamic experiment on wheels. Built not by a car company, but by Martin Aircraft, it challenged everything people thought a car should be at the time. While most manufacturers were still building square wooden bodies on heavy frames, James Martin had a different vision. What if a car could slice through the air like an airplane? The result? The Martin Aerodynamic. A sleek, streamlined body made of aluminum with no unnecessary protrusions, covered wheel arches, and smoothed over sides. The headlights were recessed, the door handles hidden, and the whole car looked more like a capsule than a car. The drag coefficient? About 0.27, incredibly low, especially compared to something like the Ford Model A, which had nearly double that. The engine wasn't particularly powerful, but it was cleverly placed. It was a rear-mounted, water-cooled, inline four-cylinder Continental engine, around 2.3 liters in displacement, connected to a three-speed manual transmission. Despite its modest power output, the car could reach up to 107 miles per hour, a stunning number for the late 1920s. The suspension system was aviation-inspired, too. Instead of traditional springs, it used elastic belts and shock absorbers, borrowed straight from aircraft design. The ride was smooth, almost floating. The wheelbase measured about 86 inches, and the car's overall length was about 4 meters. Mechanical brakes were fitted on all four wheels, and the steering was so light it was advertised as being easy enough for a woman to handle. A strange selling point by today's standards, but a bold claim back then. Step inside, and it felt like you were boarding a cockpit. Rounded glass, a narrow entrance, aluminum trim, and airplane-style dials filled the dash. There were four seats, but the rear ones were more like shelves, better for luggage than passengers. This wasn't a family car. It was a futuristic prototype. Only three units were ever built, and just one survives today. It's kept in the Lane Motor Museum in the U.S., and yes, it still runs. So why did it fail? It was simply too far ahead of its time. In an era when people wanted boxy, familiar designs, the Martin Aerodynamic looked like something from outer space. A car without a radiator grill, with a rear engine, no chrome, no curves, it was the anti-car of its generation. And maybe that's exactly why we remember it today. Martin Aerodynamic didn't go into production, but it proved that even in 1928, there were minds thinking decades ahead. This wasn't just a car. It was a vision. If you love rare, forgotten masterpieces of automotive history, subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more to come that no one else is talking about.